ready. I uh, got a journal to share with you guys today. This is a design team project for uh, Seneca Pan. This is called the Pen Pal Traveler's Notebook Journal Kit. It is stunning and it's a huge kit. Um, yeah, it's just, I love this kit so much. I just cannot tell you. Look at the size of that. Um, this is another of the faux um, Midori's, um, and I used the tutorial by Yvonne. So um, in my previous video, I, I included a link to that. Um, fantastic tutorial. Give it a try. Um, and so I just had to carry on with it because I've enjoyed it so much. Um, but look at the size of that. It's ended up huge. Um, this is a standard notebook size, um, traveler's notebook size, but I just had to stop. I mean, I cannot tell you guys. I had so many ideas because this kit just, oh, it's, it's so inspiring. And I just kept wanting to go and go and go with it. And I just had to stop. So... I've still got stuff left to do, um, you know, to start on another one, and I will be doing that, um, you know, sometime in the future because it's absolutely amazing. Um, the front, I've tried to keep fairly plain. I've got some metal um, corner holders, and then this is one of the crocheted uh, flowers. Love that. And then I've just put a little bit of Wink of Stella on there, so it's got a bit of sparkle to it. I'm sure you can't see on camera. Um, gosh, let's see, I've got about five layers of cardstock on that front, and then I've, um, now I have reinforced this, um, between the layers, so this covers, this is going to last, you know, a while, you can, you could take these out and use them, and I'll show you inside now, um, this is the front cover, I've done a big pocket here, um, and then made another little one. There is so much stitching in this journal, guys. This is another little crocheted flower. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is just take this first signature out. I think it'll be just a little bit easier to show you guys because it is huge. Um, I'll set that to the side there. So anyways, this is your the, one of the signatures. Obviously, you can put them in whatever order you like. Um, Gosh, I just hope I can get through this. What I have done with this is I have taken and printed the kit out, and then I have come back and I've stitched it onto tea dyed. So you've basically got two layers of um, paper. So it's it's just got a wonderful feel to it. Um, this is one of the tags from the kit. The colors are so vibrant. Um, this is one of the um, tags, and what it is, she, she gives you a, a way you can back it. And you'll see I've used them in various different ways throughout. Um, this is just a little ticket I stamped. Um, I got some new Tim Holtz uh, stamps a couple of days ago. I treated myself, and uh, that's one of the little tickets. So I thought that went really cute with this. Um, here I've done a little flip up. So you've got, sorry. Hope you guys can see everything. There's additional space there. I just want to make sure everything's in frame. And then here I've put a little pocket on that, added a little journal card, and then this is from the kit, this little tag. So that's that. Um, here I've done a double pocket, and then I made um, a handmade tag. This is a um, tag from the kit, and then another little stamped tag. As you can see, this is what it looks like, and I've, I've just stitched that onto the tea dyed, so it's got such a nice weight to it for writing. This is from the kit. Um, these are little envelopes. That one I've left unglued. This is um, in Eileen's shop. This is from a, a different kit, um, but I tuck. I thought you know it went really well with it, so I've just included that as well. 
This is some of the background paper that comes with it. She's got tabs galore. So that's a nice little feature because we, you know, if you don't have a tab punch, it's so nice when those are included in the kit. Um, that's another little tag I've made. I did some embossing and then I, um, I've got a Martha Stewart <coughs> edge punch I've done there. This is another one of the pages. Look at how clear those have come out. Love that. Oh, so many ideas. Gosh, I don't know about you guys. I get so frustrated with myself sometimes because there's so many papers and kits and uh, I want to just, I'm so hyper about wanting to create everything I see. I think, ah, oh, I want to get started on it. <laughs> and it's frustrating because I can only do so much. Aren't those beautiful? Um, so this is what I'm saying. I see these things and, and uh, my mind's just a hundred miles an hour thinking, oh my gosh, I could make cards with that. But as you guys know, I never get around to doing that. <laughs> I've been promising that for months now. But anyways, um, this is another of the little envelopes. I've glued that one shut so you can put something down in there. I mean, honestly, it, it, it's just unbelievable. I got started on this, and I didn't even want to stop. I was like, oh, I don't want to stop to do dinner. Or I just want to carry on. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Now, this page, I just um, backed it with another of the um, sheets. So you've got lots of writing here. Um, these are some more little tags and journal cards from the kit. These are the pockets that are included. Beautiful. So this is the center of the signature, and what I did here, she includes these little things that can be made into booklets, or you can cut them down and make them into a tag. I just stitched it in so that you could do some writing here, and this is one of the envelope um, pockets I created. These are just various um, things from my stash I stuck in, so you had even more. And then this, you've got um, two more pockets that you can add some things to. You can do some writing here, stamping, um, a couple more, just various. These she sells in her shop as well. Those are beautiful. Um, so I wanted to include those. And then more writing space here and here. And then here as well, look at that bike. Isn't that beautiful? I love those colors in this. It's so spring-like. It just uh, really pretty. Um, here, <clears throat> this is a now. This is this pocket is from Tracy uh, Fox, and I bought this kit. And this is the first chance I've had to use um, this is the wood and the lace. So I thought that complemented this nice. This I just. <clears throat> punched out. You could do some coloring on that. I don't know. It's a scrapbook paper, but to me the way it's made you could do some coloring in if you wanted to. You know, as if we've all got time to sit around and color, right? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and this is just a, a receipt I printed off the internet. Yeah, I've got about three of those adult coloring books, but um, I don't have the time. I'll be honest, I straight up don't have the time. The only time I have is when I'm in the car driving somewhere. Or not driving, you know, if, if I'm riding with with Paul. But the way he drives, you wouldn't dare get out your coloring stuff. So um, these are just various um, things from my stash. So I've just stuck those in that little pocket. And it's, that's from the kit. Um, Oh, let's look at that tab. Isn't that pretty with the little butterfly? It is just, I just can't tell you. Well, you know, I'm crazy about Eileen stuff anyways. In fact, I've, I'm so crazy about my, that bee kit, the practical beekeeper. I'm, I've printed that out, so that's going to be my, coming up in the next few weeks. I cannot wait to work with that kit again. And this is um, <clears throat> some more of this just scrapbook paper that I've run through that embosser. I love that folder. It's just so nice. I just I like being able to touch stuff in, in my journals. Um, just some more little receipts, various things. This I think this might have been Seven Gypsies. Uh, can't remember. And this is from Eileen's shop 
those little postcards. But they, they matched really nice, I thought, with this. And then this I've just created, <clears throat> I said it's backed up with the paper. So I folded that over, stitched some of this vintage lace to it, because I thought, well, that's kind of pretty to have inside. And then it just flaps back over, so you've got a nice big pocket there. It feels so good. And then here, now this is two, this, well, it's a um, double page. I folded it um, in half, stitched it, and then added it here so you got a secret writing space. But isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it makes you want to start potting your flowers and everything. And as soon as we do that, you know there will be a cold snap. So um, another tab there. Um, this I've just doubled up, and then I did a, a little um, collage there, and just another little journal card. So that's the first signature, guys, and that's some more of that paper on the back. Gorgeous. So, I'll set that to the side, and then I'll put it in at the end. This is the second sig signature. That's some of the background paper, and I'll see it's really dainty lace over that blue. Just so stunning. Um, here I've created a little tuck spot. I didn't put anything in it because, you know, as I said, I, I don't think I could have put anything else in this. Some more of her paper. That's all been stitched together, so you've got a place you can write all these things. And then this little glassing bag. Another of the, um, this is from her shop, and these are just from off the, the internet. Uh, yeah, this little page, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll put one of these in there. I forgot to put something in there, because I've been working on this for a few days, and you kind of forget sometimes. This I've made a little tuck spot with these fussy cut, so I'll leave that in there. It's easy to overlook it. Um, nice bit of space to, to write. Um, this is... I'd say this is probably the least amount of writing space I've ever had in a journal, and it's just down to the fact there's so many elements to, to include that, um, but there's still plenty, like I said, because you've got all these little places, isn't that pretty with the little humming, hummingbird on there? And then these are the little um, journal tags, or cards that you get. Got a couple in there, and I just left this little tag blank so you could stamp something on that. Here I've put a uh, alterations tag in that I've just fussy cut some flowers, and that's all been backed there. Made a double pocket. This is another of the uh, journaling cards. Hope you can see those. And then this little uh, mason jar. Just tucked in there. This is another of the pages. I love those. It's so sweet. And then here, I've just done a little um, flip down. And uh, I've glued that all the way because of the... Um, ribbon so you can't it's not another pocket on that one just just uh, this little secret writing space here and then another little tab those tabs are so pretty the designs on them are beautiful and then this is one of the um, pages I love that you can do some writing up here And this one's another pocket that's in the kit. That's one of the journal cards. And then this is, I thought this was really sweet. I love these blue, the blue, because it's not easy to find um, kits with blue in it. So this is just so nice to have. Um, and I've left that, you know, so you can do some more journaling in there. And that's just another little extra journal card from my stash. Um, here I've left, this is a tuck spot back here, and then this is a little pocket. So 
so you can see. So that just opens up. You could do some writing there, and then you've got a place you can add some more things behind. Here I've just put uh, four of these, or well, two of the little um, envelopes, and then I've just included a couple of journaling cards and tags. Did a little bit of collaging down here. This is the center of the um, this signature. Those pages are just beautiful. Um, same thing over here. <clears throat> a couple more tiny envelopes. Journal card and a blank tag for you. And then this page, I've just done some stitching with some <coughs> ribbon from my stash. Another little French receipt, journal card, and then this is from the kit. And that's just a handmade card I made, or tag. And then this pocket, I did some decoupage with some of my um, big doilies I've got that came in a package I purchased. You can't do much with them, so I've cut them down, um, decoupaged them, and then I've come back with a, and stitched around this. So it's a really nice, sturdy little pocket. Um, and then this is another one of those stamped tickets I've done. Library card. And then that's another of the pages. And then here I've done another pocket back here with a tag and a tuck spot here. And then this is another of the pages. Uh, these I've made a little flip out of this one and it's got a tag inside. It says friends. Love that. That's doubled up so that she has it where you can layer this part on top, so it's a nice sturdy little tag for you to write on. And then I just cut it out and made it so that it would flip out. So pretty. And then here, this is um, a tuck spot. And then this flips over so that you've got another little pocket here. And then the same on this side. You can do some writing there. And then there's another little pocket with a journal card inside there. And then there's another one of the tabs. And then this is these postcards are included as well. I think there's three big ones of those. And then this little journal card, and another of my little library cards, and another of the hand crocheted flowers. It's that bag. This is another of the pages, and that's the back. And another little journal card. Gosh, there's so many journaling cards included in this. Okay, and then this is the back. And I didn't put anything in here, but I've made this so that you can... It's a belly band that's been sewn, so it's very sturdy. But I've made it so that you could just include one of your um, note, notepads that you can get from like the Dollar Tree. You can just put that back, the cardboard, or if you know, if you don't, if you want to make one, you could do that. But I, it was too full for me to include that. But that's was the purpose, and behind that was I thought that would be perfect. You could slide in one of those little notepads. So this is a um, a TN that this can be used for a very, very long time. And uh, if you feel like it's too bulky. You could take one of these out and just purchase one of the blank um, refill pads and stick that in with one of the signatures so you'd actually could extend the life of this even more. But 
Um, such fun to make. I really, really love it. Look at that. It's it's big. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll put uh, Eileen's link to this kit in the description below. And my Etsy um, details will be in the, the link below as well. If you're interested in this journal, it will be up for sale by the time this video is up. Anyways, you guys have a great Sunday, and I will see you back here soon. Take care. Bye.